Hello everybody, Matteo here again, and I welcome you to the next video of my Tommy Apachero body build. In this video I am going to prepare and install the driver figure, side mirrors and windshield wipers. To install the driver figure I use a 0.7mm thick perforated aluminum plate. I've got it from a local hardware store. And the driver figure is the 4x4 vehicle driver figure from Temia. As first I have to bring the aluminum plate to the right size. I mark the correct width and use a cutter to carve a line to the aluminum. Now, when I bend the plate it will break exactly along the line. Now I marked on each side the positions where I have to bend the edges and make some flaps. Carefully I bent it over the edge of my working bench. Now I can check how it fits in the body and make fine corrections if it's necessary. But it looks good and the chassis parts fits well under the body. After a bit of improvings and refine the corners and edges, I am ready to paint the plate with ES6 flat black. While the black dries, I use the time to prepare and install the side mirrors. These mirrors are from Loops model and metal plated stickers are included. I have to trim the stickers to the correct size and apply it on the side mirrors. After removing the protection film, they are very shiny. I've installed the mirrors with two rubber o-rings and a body pin. Here you can see the side mirrors installed. Now the black on the aluminium plate is dry and I can start to build the driver figure. As first, I have to glue together the arms and head. For this I use Tamiya cement for plastic. I apply a good amount of glue on each part and press the parts together. The driver body is too big to install it in my Pachero, so I have to cut away the lower part. To check if it's good or not, I fix it temporarily with tape. If necessary, I can shorten the body with sandpaper till it fits correctly. When the body has the right size, I can glue on the arms. Now the driver parts are ready to paint. I use flat colors, it looks better to get a matte finish for the fabric materials of the driver's clothes. For the driver's head I use XF15 flat flash also for the hands. 
and the steering wheel with XF1 flat black. Now all the parts are painted and ready to glue on the head. Before I install the figure on the aluminum plate, I like to build some seat dummies. For this, I use balsa wood. The block is on the right size and I work on it with sandpaper to bring it in the right shape. Balsa wood is very soft and easy to edit. At the end, I use some fine sandpaper to refine the parts. On the same way I've built the headrests. Now the headrests are installed with toothpicks and the seats are ready to paint. Now I can glue on the parts on the aluminum plate. For this I use two component epoxy glue. In the meantime, while the epoxy dries, I can install the windshield wipers. I'm looking for the right place and drill a small hole in the body. It looks good and I fixed it with a small amount of epoxy glue. Now the aluminum plate with the driver figure is ready to install on the body. To fix it I use this strong adhesive tape from a hardware store. As first only a small piece to check the good position. Finally, when everything fits correct, I use the complete length of tape. I prefer to use this kind of fixation, because it's easy to remove. And sometimes it's necessary to remove the inner parts of the body, for cleaning or some maintenance on the body. Now you can see the result the body with the driver figure. It's not a complete detailed interior, but it works well in my opinion and improves the look of the car, especially in a running video. So this is it for the moment. Soon this body will be finished, I think only one or two more videos. Stay tuned to see the next steps and the result at the end. I say thanks for watching, please give me a thumbs up if you like my work and see you next time.